Tip number one, avoid nouning. Okay, what is nouning? It's when a noun hides a verb. Here's some common examples. The driver gave assistance to the injured pedestrian. Note the verb that is buried in the noun assistance. Pull it out and the sentence becomes, the driver assisted the injured pedestrian. Here's another example. The scholar conducted an investigation into the causes of genocide. Um, aren't all investigations perforce conducted? You see, the sentence is academic puffery, for the scholar investigated the causes of genocide. These nouns ending in shun, whether it's T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N, often hide verbs. Here's another example. Memorial Hospital made the decision to close its trauma center. I bet you can spot it right away. You can replace those three weak words made a decision with one strong verb. Memorial Hospital decided to close its trauma center. Simple, direct. By all means, write freely, let the words flow, but then know that you've got to go back and dig out verbs in your sentences that are hidden by nouns. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you want more of these 10 tips, please check out this playlist and it will give you access to all 10. Okay, see you in the next video.